back with a new play science kit. Today we are going to be testing out unicorn science. And I'm going to be doing it with my brother. Say hi please. Hi. So let's see what's inside. I'm going to be helping her today. Oh, also there um, is glow in the dark uh, slime, regular mm -hmm. slime, uh, non-Newtonian fluid, mm -hmm. crystals, glitter, mm -hmm. even this drink. All sorts of fun stuff you can do. First we are going to be making fluorescent magic slime. So you are going to be needing a small bowl, glitter, a plastic spatula, a little measuring cup, food coloring, cornstarch, and photoluminescent. First up we are going to be putting five tablespoon of cornstarch. Cool. And cool. One more. And then five. Hey, that's how old you are. <coughs> I am five. Next we are gonna do 25 meters of water pour it into the bowl. Okay. And then we're going to stir. Add a little bit of glitter and then stir. This might get a little sticky. So you see, as I'm stirring here, it is hard. Yeah. <laughs> Especially stirring with the popsicle stick. Yeah. Popsicle sticks are pretty hard to stir with. So this is a non-Newtonian fluid. It can be liquid if you rock it back and forth very slowly. But if you apply pressure to it, it acts like solid because it can be liquid and solid. Solid. So, we are just added food coloring by putting some in the pipe and squeezing it out onto the um, onto the non-Newtonian fluid like this. Now we are going to make it glow by adding the photoluminescence. got hardened on my finger, but it's very fun, so enjoy it when you get it. I'm trying to make it solid. Oh, it's starting to get there. Come on. Oh, it's a liquid again. <laughs> I want to take a bath. I want to do it. I don't know where it is. And this is slime. <laughs> the photoluminescent literally made it glow green. So cool. It's melting off my hand. Don't and get it. That it is science slime. Slime. Okay, next we are going to be making a unicorn magic drink. So you're going to be needing four cups, a cup that's bigger than the rest, some sugar, pipette, food coloring, and hot water. And for the hot water, that's going to be the part where you need a grown-up's help. So first you're going to be needing to put sugar in the cup. This so you need one tablespoon and one, two tablespoons and two, three table, three tablespoons in the other, and four tablespoons in the four. Next 
Next, you're going to be putting 50 milliliters in, in each cup of hot water. So this is where you will need a grown-up's help because it's very hot. I can see it steaming. I'm just going to pour that all in right away. That feels very hot. Now we have to stir to completely dissolve all the sugar to make it look like just hot water. That's all the thing. Next up, you take a pipe in and then you put some color in each one. We just made a sugar solution. A solution is a mixture of two or more substances. So now we're pouring into the big one. So first we're starting with the densest one, with the most sugar. Careful, still very hot. We got the blue first. Now we're going to move on to green. But you have to put the spoon like this. Pour slowly. Wow. Don't work out. It's supposed to look a little bit like this, but it's turned out like this. So it might still taste good because it is a drink. So I'm going to probably let this cool down a little bit and then I'm going to try it. There are over 50 experiments. We're going to do another another day. Remember that Unicorn Science is available on Amazon. Bye! And don't forget to ring the bell. Bye. Actually, when you shine a light through it, it actually does kind of work. See? You can see a little bit of green right here. Blue, red, green.